EPAWA meteorologist Bobby Market here with your outlook for March 7th, 2019. For your Thursday, we're expecting partly cloudy skies again today, but not quite as cold as it was on Wednesday and not quite as windy either. Uh, temperatures will get into the uh, 30 to 35 degree range from north to south today, so uh, the days of the 20s for highs are officially behind us. So we have uh, partly cloudy skies today, and then it remains cold here on Friday, but it's going to uh, be a little bit milder, slightly. Again, low 30s north and uh, maybe mid to upper 30s further south and east, but we will have a system to contend with coming in in the afternoon and early evening. Now, this is not a big deal, but there is some snow that's going to fly on Friday afternoon. Now, there's a big difference between snow falling and snow sticking. We had a couple things working against this. One, we have marginal temperatures, and this is not January. This is That's part number two. It's not January, and you have uh, a higher sun angle, so you have some solar radiation working through the cl clouds, and uh, so it's not going to stick as easy. Not saying it can't, but it's uh, without any higher rates of snowfall, uh, and not really seeing this you know, overcoming uh, those marginal temperatures and in that case where most areas are going to be dealing with white rain there could be a few areas that have some minor accumulations on mainly grassy surfaces but I think we're dealing with less than an inch across the entire region uh, higher concentration of that would probably be further south in south central Pennsylvania uh, but further north I don't think you're, you're, you're going to see snow flakes and, and, and see snow showers but whether or not it sticks is another story Let's go over to the name high-res future simulated radar, and this actually looks impressive from a composite radar standpoint. I mean, this is 13, uh, this is actually, I'm sorry, I was just going to say 1300. It's 1 o'clock in the afternoon here on Friday. Uh, as we go to the next frame here at 4, you can see there's snow maybe mainly along and south of I-80 uh, I here in uh, Pennsylvania, and uh, this is definitely falling. That's not the issue. The issue is the marginal temperatures and how much of this is sticking. Again, a coating to an inch type stuff generally uh, on non-paved surfaces is not a paved surface accumulations. I will say that part is probably most likely, uh, but uh, you might just be dealing with white rain here where it's falling from the sky and melting once it reaches the ground or maybe just sticking to uh, you know some very colder spots of, uh, of non-paved surfaces like maybe you know uh, car tops or you know, plastic garbage cans or something like that. So not really a, really a big deal here, uh, but this does wrap up fairly quickly. It goes from this at four to this look at seven, just a few lingering, lingering uh, flurries and maybe uh, snow showers, and that's going to move out. So after that point, it's gone. So this will be a quick, uh, quick system in and out. And uh, after this point, we turn milder over the weekend. Saturday will be a mostly sunny day, and we're expecting temperatures to get up close to near close to average for this time of year in the mid 40s, and mostly sunny skies. Now our next system coming in here on Sunday, we have high pressure setting up here in Maine. This is what we talked about yesterday with the system. This has not really changed. High pressure sitting up here, so supplying some cold air at the onset. This antecedent and cold air will give us a at least north of 78 and in north north central and northeast PA. In these areas right here, there's enough cold air present initially that we will start off as a wintry mix of snow and sleet and then freezing rain for a time, and then we will go over to just plain rain everywhere. This is coming in after midnight on Saturday night, it looks like, so uh, most of us are going to be sleeping and, you know, you won't be dealing with anything on the roadways. Uh, then this is the look at after midnight. Again, uh, the areas initially that are going to get into that are going to be right in here. So this stuff falling into it with that uh, cold air wedge coming in here, at least initially ahead of the warm front associated with this area low pressure. Here's the warm front back here like this. And it's uh, ahead of that. So until that warm front moves through, you're going to have some mixed precipitation overnight. Not a major thing here either. So we're just looking at, so, uh, you know, maybe coating an inch of snow and sleet and then going over to, to freezing rain for maybe an hour or two. Might hold on a little bit longer up here in Northeast PA, but still, after we get into Sunday morning, it changes over to rain before it ends. And then we turn a lot milder here on during the day here on, uh, on Sunday. So m Sunday is going to be uh, approaching 50 degrees in many locations. So anything that fell overnight while most of you will be sleeping anyway uh, will be going away very quickly on Sunday morning once this precipitation ends. And again, this is not an all day thing on Sunday. This is just probably uh, before noon and the showers end and it's ending as rain showers, okay? Uh, so after this point, 
Uh, we do turn back to near average temperatures. Again, we're going to be warm on, on Sunday, going back to near average uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. But we are dry. We're looking at partly cloudy skies here on Monday and then mostly sunny on both Tuesday and Wednesday as high pressure moves in over top of the region. We'll have another system to deal with late in the week uh, that's going to come in most likely on Friday. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Martich. That is your outlook for March 7th, 2019. Have a great Thursday.